Meanwhile, a group of us are headed further into the canyon to photograph some amazing rock art. To record this art while it's still in good condition and help with Duncan's research, we're going to scan it with the latest in 3D imaging technology. Oh wow, here they are. Oh, these are beautiful. Yeah, they are, these are uh, typical Fremont figures. The Fremont created these images by pecking into the wall with pieces of stone. You can still see the individual peck marks. They look almost exactly like the figurines I saw earlier this week in the museum. Right, and those figurines were actually found in, nearby in this same canyon. Really? Really, but the difference between the figurines are that you had a pair of male and female figures, and here we're really looking at it. another topic, I think. One interpretation is that they're shaman figures, people with more power that, that can access the supernatural, to bring benefits to their community. And notice the necklaces. I mean, necklaces That's are often a sign of power. And there's some kind of wavy line connecting these two. It's almost like lightning. Um, the images themselves would empower this, this location, make this a special place. As a sketch artist, I'm going to record these images the old-fashioned way, while Ken records them with the latest technology. Ken's work will take a while. Sitting here now, I imagine that these images would have looked even more imposing at night by firelight. What did it mean to the Fremont to walk up and touch these drawings a thousand years ago?